Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, today I want to share an uh an article with y'all that is coming out of uh the you know the Milwaukee Journal, the Sentinel. Okay, because we got this damn police chief, Alfonso Morales. Um, I don't know, that seems to be um, pretty racist. And a lot of y'all are saying, well, how could he be racist and he's brown? He's done a lot of questionable things. And here's what the Fire and Police Commission has ordered Chief Alfonso Morales to do. The Milwaukee Fire and Police Commission issued a, a series of, of directives uh, Monday to Police Chief Alfonso Morales. The orders amount to a long list to do, ranging from providing specific files on investigations and discipline updates on hiring and promotions. The board's executive director said the directives were necessary after Morales unduly delayed or just outright pulled uh, Donald Trump and just ignored it. In the in, in issuing the list, the commission noted that failure to comply fully and properly with these directives shall result in disciplinary action by the board, including discharge from his position, suspension, or reduction in rank. See, because he, he wants to do what the hell he wants to do, okay? This guy is a problem, and I don't know why he's even the police chief. There was plenty of officers that had much more um, credible background in him, longer tenure than him, but we get this. Let me keep going. Morales' attorney, Franklin Gimble, said that he believed the chief already had provided most of the information. But here's a list of the rundown that the commission is asking for. The commission did not provide a copy of the directors Monday evening. So this was taken from what uh, was said during the public meeting. Okay? It said that the commission has requested audits and more information, video and disciplinary files, and other relevant records for the police department and on following incidents and topics. Number one. The arrest of the Bucks player Sterling Brown, which a lot of y'all know is Shannon Brown's brother. The police shooting of Tyree Davis, who was wounded when a Milwaukee police officer chasing another man, opened fire and hit Davis as he opened his back door. In the past, Morales said he couldn't share the footage because the pending litigation was against the party. Okay. Lies. The arrest of activist Von Mays on June 29, 2020. An audit and presentation of a standard operating procedure regarding the safety safeguarding of evidence related to investigations of the Sensitive Crimes Division as well as privacy of victims who come forward to report those kind of crimes. So we want to see what his standard uh, 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 operating procedure is regarding these safeguarding issues because we already told you oh I did a video about that I mentioned in this one we had a family used to live over where um, I used to live before I got rid of my house um, and someone shot the young man's uh, neighbor in in Make a long story short, there was a witness to uh, the shooting. And of course, there was no protection for the young man in his testimony because they don't even care once you testify. Oh, well. And of course, he was gunned down in his own house, backyard. A public accounting of why tear gas and a large volume of illorescent capsum pepper spray were used during a civil unrest and directed Morales to work with the commission to charge the department policy to discontinue the use of those particular chemicals. A 
full update of the department's compliance with the settlement agreement reached with the ACLU of Wisconsin from the Stop and Frisk lawsuit. Um, we had a Stop and Frisk where the police were allowed to do um, cavity searches and for some reason they just wanted to uh, get up in people's behinds so bad. Okay, but anyway. Even though they didn't have any uh, examples of people pulling out 45s, 357s, whatever, 22s out of their rectum. The commission ordered Morales to draft a community orientated policing standard. Um, and it was standard operating procedure in partnership with the Community Collaborative Committee, Community Leaders, and the Milwaukee County Council. Morales' work, uh, his uh, must work with the commission's subcommittee on complaints and discipline to develop and implement a discipline matrix to accompany the department's code of conduct in an effort to bring clarity and consistency to how officers are, are disciplined. He's like, I ain't, I ain't got time for that. Uh, department mass policy. The commission has ordered Morales to draft and implement official policy to require officers to wear face masks during the coronavirus pandemic. Morales already advised officers to wear the mask during an earlier roll call announcement. Now, that's probably the only thing he complied to. He asked him to do it. Not enforcing it. <clears throat> when the uh, commission reappointed Morales in December, Commissioner Nelson Soda attached some specific requirements, including that Morales will be evaluated every six months. As an evaluation, Morales must provide statistics and data on crime and arrests, how the department is implementing community policy, updates on police, um, pursuit policies, uh, reckless driving, 911 calls, for service and dispatching times, management and overtime, and plans to replace officers who retire. Morales must also provide a full explanation of how he has vetted all candidates for his command staff and those in the acting capacity. Meaning, they have not been formally approved by the commission for Assistant Chief Captain Lieutenant and Emergency Communications Manager who oversees the 911 dispatching center. The Commission also wants an updated organizational structure chart for the department. Commissioners want Morales to respond to them in a timely manner. This directive that mandates that Morales and his command staff comply with all commission requests. Seven days of receipt or within seven days of receipt or within a deadline set by the commission or its executive director. The commission is entitled to respect the department's records. Okay? Under a new directive, that the police department must make new policy to comply with any and all open records requests made by the commission, the executive director, or the commission's investigators, regardless of whether the investigators is open and active or closed. I guess that's a garbage man out here. Wisconsin Public Record allows police agency to withhold records of open and ongoing cases, arguing such a release of records will be compromised in ongoing investigation. Lies, 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 lies. Morales must attend the FPC meeting. Other directive orders Morales must appear virtually uh, or in person at all regular commission meetings and subcommittee meetings unless he is unavailable. If he can't make the meeting, he will be required to alert the commission no less than 24 hours before the meeting starts and tell the commissioner who will be appearing in his place. 
Morales and his command staff were ordered to immediately begin complying with the executive director on any and all communications to the commissioners and to com ensure transparency, accountability, and adequate information sharing. Immediate staff briefing. Per the directors, Morales shall immediately provide written updates on his and the department's compliance with these orders at the commission's next meeting, which will be scheduled for August 6th. Now, um, I think Morales should be replaced personally. <clears throat> He's, um, he seems to be uh, policing right out of Donald Trump's playbook. I mean, really. The non-compliance factors that do what I want to do. Shannon, Shannon Brown's brother got beat up two years ago. He had police sending out derogatory Facebook. <laughs> the posts were racist, derogatory, um, about Kevin Durant, about that, things that had nothing to do with the arrest. And then had a nerve to say, Win the next game. See, his records must be, his files must be opened. And if you ask me, I think we should um, really, really have bones on the ground to replace uh, Alfonso Morales. It's time for him to go. He's not for the people, not all the people. And he has all these preconceived notions about black people, all black people. So if you like what you hear, um, I'll see you in the next video.